So my name is Bangu Mobolanli Arinke and um, I'm Yoruba and um, yeah, I'm from Lagos State and I, I grew up in Ikorodu. So I grew up in this like very big family where my sisters, my brothers were all into um, engineering, medicine, courses like that and um, so I've always loved um, anything related to art and you know and that was what I really wanted to do in my life. My, my dream was actually to study art, like go to this very amazing art school and you know, do great things in life. But then I was faced with, okay, how do I tell my family that, um, how do I tell my family to sponsor me to go study art somewhere? When my mates are studying maybe medicine, engineering, you know, this is Nigeria. We want, parents want their children to do courses that would later you know, sustain them, something like that. So that was what I was faced with. So I decided to go with the crowd. So I studied mass comm. And trust me, it was <laughs> it was not funny at all because I was doing something I was not completely in love with. I was just doing it to you know to fulfill my all righteousness, just to play along. I got to um, express my creative side. I would draw on the school um, notice board, I would hide somewhere. I was like those so secret artists who draw overnight and paste it uh, on the school notice board and then run away and things like that. So people could kind of sign it using my talent. Um, TFDM means um, the female design, it stands for the female designer movement. And um, it is an initiative I created to help women design, to introduce them to the world of design and show them the possibilities, the endless possibilities actually. Early last year, I planned to like gather, let's say 15 women together, you know, train them in my, in my living room and then see how I can encourage them and mentor them to design. But then I, <laughs> I put out this form, this Google form, and we had like more than 200 women registered and I'm like, okay, now this is the real deal, like I need to do something about this. So I started reaching out to other organizations, other people, and uh, I used Instagram as well. And people really came through for me. People supported me. People sent messages, provided space. I finally provided space. And, you know, different organizations sponsored, and that made it really possible for me to, you know, push TFDM. Over time, I faced, like, a couple of challenges, but the good thing is I've been able to, like, overcome, overcome many of them. And so one of the challenges I faced over, over time, over the years, was that um, getting people together and then helping them, helping them continue, basically. So they come to learn and then after then, they don't have that drive, they're not really driven to continue, they're not really, the, the passion reduces. And so I, I've been thinking about it and my plan is actually to see how I can sustain that. I can I can sustain them basically, or I can help them sustain what they already have. So after learning to design, how can they continue? So I created this solution. So I I, I, I found out that if I put them in places where they can work, that solves the problem. So now uh, it's not just going to be training alone anymore. So we're going to have different organizations come for the events as well and employ some of these girls. Years back. Uh, I, I experienced um, things like people walking up to me asking me, oh, where is your, uh, who is the person in charge? And I'm like, no, no, I'm actually the person in charge. I'm actually the one that made this project. And then you can see, you can see, you can see the expression. You can see, you can almost tell what they're thinking. You know, they don't really have that confidence in you because they think, oh, you're just a young girl. What can you possibly do? But then, like I said before, you don't have to argue with anyone. You don't have to prove any point. The, you, the only point you have to prove is through your works. If your works are quality, if your designs are exceptional, if they see that what you are creating is something that you cannot get anywhere else, they would have to respect you. And that is the only way to gain people's respect, by being the best, by doing, by doing, doing very good works basically. The major reason why I decided to start TFDM. So apart from just seeing women design or helping them see the possibilities in design, I um, I took it like upon myself to make sure that people who are actually passionate about design 
do not experience some of the things I experienced growing up as a designer. So in the next five to ten years, we plan to train about 50,000 women across different African countries. Um, so because it has always been my dream to see women in design, I plan to take it like really, really far. I plan to work with different organizations across Africa. I plan to you know, bring them on board and also work with companies that can actually employ these ladies. Um, so when I was starting out as a designer, I really didn't have mentors. Um, like I said, I didn't have people I could like go to discuss one on one. But I had designers I kind of looked up to. I had designers that would inspire me. And so I decided to like um, look at their works and try to understand their thought process. So they were kind of mentoring me, but they didn't even know me. <laughs> you get. So I think mentorship is actually very important. So because I didn't have the chance to get mentored by the kind of people I wanted to get mentored by, I want to create the opportunity for young women to get the right mentorship. Right now, presently, I mentor women as well. I have a couple of designers that I actually mentor, and some of my some of, some of some of my mentees are actually doing very well. Like one of them uses different software, Figma. Um, XD, even software that I didn't even like introduce that to, and even the Tech Plus mentorship program is also a very fantastic way to like get women to learn to learn more about tech as well. So I think mentorship is very important and it should not be taken for granted.